Bye bye. So we're getting a closer look at the new portraits of President Barack and former First Lady Michelle Obama. Those depictions are getting a lot of love, but also harsh criticism. Today is the first time the public is seeing those portraits in person. WSA 9's Michael Quander was there and explains the message behind the paintings and how they're helping to infuse diversity into the National Portrait Gallery. Come on, let me take you inside. Inside of the exhibit, focusing on America's presidents, you'll find George Washington, Lincoln, and a whole bunch of other portraits that, quite frankly, look the same. You see that the, the old pattern of dull and dark. But there's no arguing. This one offers contrast. It's a completely different portrait. Artist Kende Wally created this portrait of President Barack Obama. The nation's first black president is not depicted in familiar presidential spaces, but instead he's almost engulfed by nature. The more I look at it, the more I love it, so I just had to come and see it in person. You see, the artist chose to tell President Obama's life journey through flowers. The jasmine points to his birthplace in Hawaii. This flower represents Chicago, where he got his start in politics. And then you have the African blue lilies that point to the late father of President Barack Obama from Kenya. The former president and first lady made history by not only posing for these portraits, but by choosing the black artists who made them. This was a first for the National Portrait Gallery. Both of these artists want people to, especially young people, to look at their work and see themselves in it. Artist Amy Sherald made subtle but bold statements in her piece, painting the former first lady in grayscale, inspired by black and white pictures of African Americans from back in the day. And take a closer look at this dress. It uses patterns reminiscent of quilts handcrafted by black women. It's not really a representation of her. I think it's a reputation of all black women. It is art injecting color into the visual timeline of presidents and first ladies and adding to a shift in diversity at the National Portrait Gallery. Reporting in Northwest Washington, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Some other new things, the National Portrait Gallery, they include bilingual descriptions, interactive touch screens, and a collection honoring everyday people who helped build this country, like slaves and immigrant workers.